Hello and welcome to the RoboYeoman AutoNAM portal. When you first arrive at the portal you'll see several sections. The Simplify Team, the Create New Award link in the middle of the screen, and then three sections that contain your forms that you've submitted, award citations that have been generated from those forms, and 1650s. To begin, select the Create a New Award link in the middle of the page. A dialog box will appear and it will present you with the current award inventory. Notice that there's no navigation to continue off of this screen. Navigation will not appear until you select one of the awards from the inventory. You'll also notice the Save Progress icon is grayed out. You won't be able to save until you've reached the stage in the process where you enter the person's name as well as selecting the award. You can exit without saving at any time. For this tutorial, I will select a Navy Achievement. Notice that the navigation now appears at the lower right. I'll continue completing the award fields until I get to the end. As you complete steps and enter data into the fields, you'll be presented with your current award at the bottom where Robo Yeoman's indicating all of your choices. You can go back and correct any of the choices at any time. For this tutorial we'll be creating a fictional sailor named Jane Doe. You'll notice now that the icon for saving has turned color. You can now save your progress and continue on at a later time. For this tutorial, we'll continue on. You can also modify the authority name and title. For this tutorial, I'll keep the default values. For the body, you'll be required to enter a certain number of characters. I'm going to paste some data into this field. When you click away from the field, the character count will be updated. I need one additional character to be at my minimum number. Okay. Now that I have a satisfactory number of characters, I will continue on to the next screen. On the review step, you'll be presented with all the fields that will make up your award citation. When you're satisfied, you'll be selecting the Save and Create Award button in the lower right. If you need to make a correction, you can navigate back to any step before this screen. When you're done, click the Save and Create Award. Notice that my form is now inside of my library. I'll hit the refresh button on the browser and notice that the citation now appears in the citation library. Your citation will appear properly formatted in Microsoft Word format. You can then edit the citation as necessary. One important thing is that I'm using Internet Explorer. I'm not using Chrome or Firefox. If you were to arrive at this step where you have the citation in Google Chrome or Firefox, notice that the text does not wrap correctly. It will still provide you with the correct count of characters. However, it won't wrap the text so that you can read it. This is an issue with SharePoint 2010, and once we migrate through another version, it should resolve it. In the meantime, please use Internet Explorer when using AutoNAM. Thanks for viewing this tutorial, and please feel free to provide any feedback.